Mesenchymal stem cells have been demonstrated to hold great potential for the treatment of several conditions. Their therapeutic effects are largely mediated by paracrine factors including exosomes, which are nanometer-sized membrane-bound vesicles with functions as mediators of cell-cell communication. Let's have a look at exosome biogenesis. Exosome biogenesis starts within the endosomal system. Early endosomes mature into late endosomes. Within the endosomal system, late endosomes are specialized endosomal compartments which are delivered from trans-Golgi network and possibly from cytosol. These compartments are rich in cytokines, growth factors signaling lipids, mRNAs, and small DNA fragments. Exosomes are constitutively generated from late endosomes, which are formed by inward budding of the limited multivesicular body membrane. Late endosome vesicles containing exosomes get transported to the plasma membrane, fuse with the cell surface and then get secreted as exosomes. Exosomes might undergo multiple cell uptake and release cycles to allow access to several layers of tissues. When reaching the target cell, exosomes can either trigger signaling by directly interacting with extracellular receptors or be uptaken by direct fusion with the plasma membrane or get internalized. Thus, exosomes induce downstream signaling that promote healing, regeneration, and regulate inflammatory proteins. These stimulations, the presence of many growth factors and has greater than 90% purity are being regarded as one of the purest forms of stem cell therapy. In their natural forms, they offer stem cell therapy without any potentially harmful sides than the other therapies.